It's it's just great to really um, speak about the nature of mind. And and I'm I when I first came here um, to a, a balanced view meeting, I was really surprised how actually how easy it is to recognize open intelligence. I had thought all my life I really need to work hard on myself in order to um, have complete well-being, to um, feel at ease and and have harmonious relationships. I will re really need to work hard. I have some some thoughts and emotions that need to be eradicated. Some, I, some things could be staying the same, but many things had to be changed in myself. That's what I thought, and that was my. Um, that's how I came to an, a meeting like that. And um, then I heard that it was really so simple as just really allowing everything about myself to be as it is and recognize open intelligence in each moment, in each thought, emotions, and sensation. So what um, thoughts, emotions, sensations, we just call data in the balanced view training to make it really simple. So we have all kinds of data streams coming up for us in, in our life. And what we do is we allow them to be as they are in a short moment. It's as simple as that. Recognizing open intelligence inseparable from each data stream. So now we're probably asking ourselves, what is open intelligence? And it's really easy to recognize open intelligence by just stopping thinking for a moment and recognize what remains when we stop thinking. There's an alertness. There's something about us that hears what I'm saying now or feels the breeze or um, has the next thought coming in. And then we recognize, oh, wow, the ground of that thought is also open intelligence. So it's not about stopping thinking for a prolonged um, time to try to get rid of thoughts, but we recognize that all thoughts, all emotions, so all data, all sensations are inseparable from open intelligence. Now open intelligence for most people, and certainly for me, had gone completely unnoticed in my experience because I was so focused on the description of each data stream. So when a thought came in, I was elaborating why I think like that or why does, when I have that thought, this will happen. So I go off in a whole story around that. And now I, <clears throat> I was invited to test out a simple tool to just allow that thought to be as it is, stopping the story just for a brief moment and recognize open intelligence, bringing open intelligence in the foreground of our experience. So less and less the descriptions uh, in our field of vision, but more and more open intelligence that is the ground of every thought and emotion. So that, that was really powerful to allow myself to experience that in every, every moment, in every data stream, that open intelligence is always present, that it is not about trying to get rid of a certain thought or trying to get rid of a certain emotion that I have, try to work on it, make it positive or try to avoid it in order to feel at ease or comfortable. No, open intelligence is just streaming right there in, in that thought, as that thought, through that thought. Open intelligence, inseparable from data stream. Like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. We cannot separate those out. So we cannot separate open intelligence and data out. I always thought open intelligence is here that I need to achieve and my data I'll just on that. I'll just work on that, meddle in that, and then I maybe reach open intelligence or the recognition of open intelligence. But it, it was so much more simple than that. It was just by allowing everything to be as it is, taking a short moment. Whenever we remember to do so, we take a short moment, recognizing that open intelligence is actually present already, <laughs> has always been, never gone anywhere. Even if we are lost in our description, open intelligence is shining brightly. And in a short moment, we recognize open intelligence and that we repeat again and again. It's as simple as that. It was so simple that I thought, oh, it cannot be that simple. I, I really came here with so much, um, I want to really change something about myself and really work and work on it. And, and then I just got invited to just relax basically again and again. So that was amazing for me to, to test out. So I tested it out. I took short moments whenever I remembered to do. So I came to open meetings. 
I just came every day because in the beginning I didn't quite understand. Something sounded very um, true for me. Something like, oh yeah, something I, I recognized in my experience. But what was that short moment that, that, that I didn't really understand? And so I thought, just came back for a few meetings. And more and more it dawned on me, these short moments, actually very quickly. Then we find ourselves that, ah, oh, we actually can relax when, when we get off in, in a story about something. Like we get angry and we, we just get completely <laughs> caught up in our anger and then we recognize, oh, actually we can relax just for a short moment right there, leaving all descriptions as it is. And what we find is complete skillfulness in that moment where we maybe used to be washed away with the anger and reacted in very unbeneficial ways. We now see that we have a choice. We have a choice in that moment to choose how we want to respond in a situation. That doesn't mean that the anger goes away or is not there, this energy that is just like, we all know it, isn't it? Like, shh. we just see the, the everything coming up, but then allowing that to be, then we just don't lock ourselves into that. We see in every moment what is of most benefit and have the power to respond in that way, not being locked away in our data streams. And that's the power. Like on the top of the mountain, we see clearly through the power of open intelligence. <coughs> So we allow that just to become more and more our experience. Open intelligence is always present already. So it's nothing that we need to achieve or try to gain. It's always already present. We just get familiar with it by taking short moments repeated many times. And then we have a whole support network, an empowerment network, the Four Mainstays. You, you heard it also in the questions. And it's such a powerful um, tool set that we can take wherever we are in the world, we can take with us, because it um, consists of the short moments that I was speaking about that we can do everywhere. Wherever we are, whatever profession we have, whatever practices we are involved in, whatever um, profession, background, doesn't matter. We can take short moments wherever we are. It's, it's really great, so we can test that out. And then we have all the trainings, like an open meeting like that, but also written trainings. We offer online also and face-to-face -face in many places around the world. That's another mainstay we can utilize to just deepen our experience. Because what the trainings does do, they just elicit open intelligence more and more in our perception, more and more we, we see clearly, more and more clarity in, in that in our relationships, in, in, in everyday life, basically. It's so practical that we can really apply it into our specific um, everyday life circumstance. So then we have also a trainer that shares their experience, somebody who has resolved data streams as well, who has also tested it out how it is to go, um, go away for some time using the four mainstays. And it's so natural. Sometimes challenging times come up and we all know it. There are times that are just more challenging. And then to use the Four Mainstays is really key, as you shared so beautifully. It's so key because then we have the support to really allow it to, to be as it is. Those data streams that are initially hard to relax. I had a couple of data streams that were just really hard to relax for me. And so I just used the Four Mainstays that allowed me to just... It always pointed me back to open intelligence in that, in that circumstance. So using that support just focusing back to relax, basically. That's what the Four Mainstays do. They support us to relax again and again. And then when we find ourselves in the data streams, we just go back and relax again using the Four Mainstays. And then the fourth Mainstay is the community. Just to seeing other people relying on open intelligence was very inspiring to me. To see that it's actually possible, that we can go through challenging times easily and really beneficially also. The things might just still come up, challenging times come up, depression maybe come up, but it's inseparable from open intelligence. What I found is I can be completely at ease and clear in the midst of feeling depressed. That was a revelation for me. I never thought that that was possible, that I could be really okay with myself even if, if depression came up. That sense of okayness never left me again. It's what we are. We are always okay. And that's what was reflected back to me always with the Four Mainstays and relying on open intelligence. That there's always a solution, that I'm just perfect as I am and everything. is There's just a sense of, of okayness there in the midst of everything. 
not being lost from the description, not being lost in a, in a dis, uh, depression, but being really able to be still clear, to function, to no matter what comes up. And, and that was really powerful for me to see. And so that confirmed really my um, experience of open intelligence, that that's really what I want to dedicate my life to, because I could see the benefits so immediately. So immediately. And not only I could see it, but also the people around me, my relationships, just benefited completely from that. So amazing to just have easeful relationships with my partner, with my parents, with my friends, with everyone. Just ease, just ease and love and care for each other. It's just so natural, something that I always wanted in all moments. But I couldn't always have it in all moments before I came to this training because then a data ca stream came up and I got lost in it. And then the open-heartedness was suddenly, like, seemingly gone. And I couldn't, didn't know how to remain open. But through the short moments, even if I felt closed, relaxing completely in that, didn't need to have a feeling or a concept of what openness is in order to to respond open. It was amazing to see that nothing was in the way anymore. No data stream, no thought, no experience was in the way for remaining completely open to myself and others. And that's the power of open intelligence, completely. Open intelligence, what is our true nature? That's just our true nature. It's so, so easy because it's, it's so natural to us. And we all know, we all have made experiences here and there of that. That at least was my experience. I just knew it completely from other areas of my life, but not consistently. I didn't know how to bring it into my everyday life, that ease and sense of well-being. And now I had a complete tool set to do that for the four mainstays.